Okay. Ugh. All right. Hello, my name is Sophia Metropolis. I'm an artist. And today I'm doing a long awaited, and by awaited, I mean like searched in the YouTube algorithm video, <laughs> trying out Inkbox's new freehand tattoo marker. I made a video about a year ago testing out their freehand pro kit that I bought with my own money. And then I proceeded to email them many times requesting that they send me their new tattoo marker because I want to try it. I wanted to make a video about it and the last one did well. So I thought the least they could do was send me one for free. That being said, if you want to buy one of these right off the bat, you can get it at the link in the description. I get a very small kickback fee. Please buy it that way if you're considering it because otherwise they didn't pay me for it. So, so you buying one would be supporting me. Thank you. Let's get into it. Right off the bat, I think this is a definite aesthetic upgrade in packaging from the Pro Kit. This, the fact that it's in this holographic thing is cool, but also paper recycling packaging, we love that. And then this is next level. I think they did a phenomenal job with this. The whole thing just fits together so clean and tidy. I really love it. Last time I made this video, I didn't read the instructions until halfway through, so I'm not gonna make that mistake this time. Here's what we've got in the package. There's a freehand tattoo marker, a tracing pen, which is dual-sided, tracing paper and a design card, stencil cream, two development patches, and a glove, a singular glove. Last time, I did not trace my drawings. I just went for them on my arm. This time, I might use their tracing paper. Just, I guess, for to try it out. But I otherwise do think I'm just gonna freehand it. I do like that they sent one glove, because you don't need two. And also, last time I didn't use the glove, but I ended up getting ink all over my hands. So, that's what the gloves are for. Very cool. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie, but we're just gonna go for it. I guess I did put the glove on a little prematurely. I also have a mirror, so while I'm working, I can see my arm. The first thing they say is to use the tracing pen and tracing paper to create a stencil. They say you can trace something off your phone, but I'm maybe I'll do that. They also sent in this postcard with these cute little moths. So I'm probably gonna trace some of those just because I think they're cool and we're not here for my original thoughts. We're here for me to try and cover my body in these tattoos. These are tiny though. Maybe I'll just use these as inspiration. Cause if I'm gonna go for the whole thing, there's a couple that I know I'm gonna freehand, like completely actually freehand on my body. But we'll try the tracing paper for the sake of the all right, I'll do this flower for sure. This is how the flower came out. Cute. Oh, it bled through. Look at that. So I'm glad I didn't do it. Ah, I'm gonna wash this off. Get some paper towels. Okay. So really quick, what we just learned is that the tracing pen does bleed and it doesn't come off. I don't know why I thought like a wet paper towel would take it off. I am sort of salty that I used this cute card, but I'm glad I didn't do the whole thing, I guess, whatever. Okay, lucky for me, my recycling bag is right behind me. All right, I got some scrap paper now. All right, let's read the instructions. They do say sweating, excessive heat, and active movement can cause the tattoo to blur, and it will develop better on well hydrated skin. So moisturize with water-based moisturizers and drink lots of water. Gently clean or exfoliate the skin where you plan to draw your tattoo. Ensure your skin is completely dry before starting. Okay, I gotta go do that too. The stencil is applied as a mirror image, got it. Tracing pen will bleed through the tracing paper, so always work on a surface that you're okay with getting a little messy. Okay, so here's what I've decided. I'm gonna draw a little bit more on this, and then I'm just gonna do a small of that, and then I'm gonna freehand the rest. So I gotta go wash my arm. And also I am a little concerned about the development patch in terms of my skin reaction to adhesive, but maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, BRB. My arm is clean. It doesn't say anything about arm hair or body hair, I guess. The last time I did it, sorry. The last time I did it, it like stuck to my arm hair, but that's just what's gonna happen, I guess. Quick review of my current tattoos. I have a tree here that I absolutely hate and always have. I have some flowers, some morning glories, and a laurel wreath that I love, and a little sword on the back that is very simple and um, flawed, but I love it. But yeah, the tree I hate. But I'm thinking, last time I did sort of a leaf and plant pattern, and I'm just gonna do that again. But after we do the stencil, obviously. So I'm gonna draw maybe just like another flower next to this so that we have two. It's not as good as the other one, but that's fine. This is my other flower stencil. So we're just gonna try the stenciling, I guess. It's got acrylate copolymer. It has a bunch of ingredients in it that I don't know the words for. Put the stencil here, I think. How about here? All right, that's fine. 
Let's try it. All right, so you're supposed to put it on and then you put this on and then you hold it there. I hope I got it in enough. Yeah, I did an okay job. Probably keep the instructions on hand. Okay. Oh, you're supposed to hold it down five to 10 seconds. Oh, whatever. Okay. I did an okay job. I just wanna try it. I just wanna get to it. Let's go. I thought you had to wait until the stencil cream dried on it, but you have to wait until the stencil cream dries to draw on it. I wonder if the development patch is required. Here we go. I have the absolute worst view right here. Oh, I should check the time. It's 4.07. You know what, that's good enough for how little I can see what I'm doing right now. If I was gonna do the stencil again, I would hold it down longer than I did. So take heed that advice if that's something you're gonna do. Okay, that looks pretty cute. And then it also says like the darker you want it, the darker you should go. Oh my God, I'm gonna go all the way down. But it says to go this way. So, oh my God, I'm getting anxiety. <laughs> Last time I had like some big leaves. So we're just gonna do that again. And this one, I'm gonna pull it out of this freckle. Uh-oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, maybe I will stencil. Can I stencil directly onto myself? I don't think I can. This singular leaf will be my test to see how bad they look <laughs> when I don't do my, do my due diligence. How about... I did some mushrooms last time. Ugh, I trust that I can, I can freehand this. Okay, we're gonna freehand it. I'm like not trusting my intuition right now, but it's fine. Can I draw an upside down mushroom? Here we go. I'm not drawing a mushroom, sorry. You wanna be really embarrassing if I mess this up and it looked horrible. This is rough. These are two different styles. Oh no. Oh no, okay. I'm gonna take a second and draw some stencils. Okay, I real quick sketched up a couple more. I did some ginkgo leaves and a peony and like this weird flower thing. So I think I'm gonna cut them all up and then place them separately. And then these kinds of like ivy leaves things, I'm gonna freehand those. I'm trying to figure out where to put these. I feel like maybe here. I think I can squeeze those in. So let's try it again. All right, so we rub the stuff in, in a little bit more generously than I thought last time. And then this guy goes right here. And what did it say? Five to 10 seconds. Oops. Great. Gloves, I forgot about the gloves. Okay, better than the last one. <laughs> I'm gonna put the fucking glove on. Whoops. <sighs> Good stuff. Whoops. And then I think I'll put like the other stencils on also. This guy I feel like is a one of one of these guys, you know? I think so. Uh-oh, I got it on the stuff and I smudged the already existing one. Right row. I'm not doing a good job of this one compared to the last. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, look, she's a professional. She's a professional. I still don't like them. What if I do a bad job? This is what I worried about last time. Like also, when's too late to take these off? Like these guys. I have like a damp paper towel. I wonder if they'll come off. Okay, we have a couple of these. What if I just like overlap them? Can they do it twice? They've got a double vision in them? Kind of. We're gonna give it another shot. Another honest effort. ginkgo because they're sort of intentionally kind of sloppy. How's that look? Looks okay.
right, I'm moving through this pretty quickly. It's so funny, like the ones, these ones look so much better than these ones. I wonder what that's about. It's almost like planning works, crazy. I will say the hardest part about it is probably the perspective and just like seeing if what I'm doing looks relatively reasonable or not. Having a mirror here definitely helps, but I feel like this would be a good kind of bonding activity with a partner and less of a solo activity like I'm doing now. I don't know what to do about this, this like sus ass leaf that I've created. Okay, well obviously I feel like it needs some more detailing just cause everything else is significantly more detailed. Ooh, rough. Some of them I don't like. That's a little better, that's sort of a salvaged moment. Okay, cool, coming along. We're about half an hour in. See, this feels really bare. So I'm just gonna do like... I feel like this is a good amount. Okay, I just took a peek in the mirror. I actually really like it, so I think I'm gonna do like a leaf thing here. I think that would be interesting to see. So I'm gonna do those, freehand both of those, just to like tie it into this. And I did a similar one to this in my last video with the ink box. Alright, this is where I'm stopping. Let's put the development patches on. <sighs> I forgot about this. <laughs> Cut a piece of the development patch big enough to cover your whole tattoo. Use more than one piece if necessary. Peel the clear liner off the development patch and apply it sticky side down over your tattoo. Set the liner aside. Leave the development patch on for 60 minutes. Try your best not to move. How should I do this? This way? I think we're kind of doing a couple pieces. Sticky side down, no way. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, maybe here. Reusable up to eight times, that's pretty good. Oh shit, shit. Okay, is this big enough? Two patches down. There's only two patches included, so. And then I guess this one, I guess we'll just do the same thing. Okay, so it's not gonna cover the whole thing. I'm gonna cut. Ay -ay -ay. I'm gonna use this one here, this guy, I guess here, and then my little leaves will be the experiment to see how much develops without the development patch, I guess. Okay, cool. Okay, so everything got covered by the development patch, except for these guys. So these guys are gonna be the test. I ended up using all of both of the development patches for this, so it's good I didn't continue because I couldn't. I'm gonna set a one hour timer. She's set. We're gonna let it rip and see how it goes. I'm glad I stopped where I did because that was a lot. I'll be back in an hour. All right, I've been waiting to take this thing off. It's been an hour. This wants me to carefully peel it off, gently wipe it dry with alcohol pads, and then you put it back on the liner and you can use it seven to eight times, which is kind of cool. So I guess we'll just do that part first. Starting with the one on top. Ugh. 
Some other notes that they say. Cover your tattoo overnight so it doesn't transfer to other areas of your skin or bedding, which happened to me the first time I did them. So I will be wearing long sleeves tonight. Wearing loose, breathable clothing that covers your entire tattoo is best. I'm trying to do two things at one time. Wait at least six hours after application before showering or doing strenuous activities that may make you sweat. So I guess that means don't wash it right now would be what I gather. The first time you wash your tattoo, the ink may fade slightly. That's normal. Your tattoo will continue to darken and develop into a dark blue slash black color during the 24 to 36 hours after application. If you follow these aftercare tips, your tattoo should last one to two weeks. It's going to continue to develop, which means that we're going to have to check back in in 24 hours. And after I shower, I was going to work out tonight, but I guess I'm not going to do a workout that's going to make me sweaty enough that I would have to shower or that it would ruin this. So instead I'll save that for tomorrow. So far this process compared to the other freehand thing is totally different actually. I think this would be a really fun process to do with somebody else. I think it's definitely less of a solo thing. Maybe if you were doing something on your thigh or something like that, like an easier spot to access. The adhesive didn't bother my skin at all, which is great news. I was a little concerned that it might. So six hours to wash it means like midnight. So I can't wash it till tomorrow which I feel like I would want to wash it. Like, I think that's something that I liked about the other ink box was that you do get to wash it off at the end, which feels like something you should do. But, but this one, we're just gonna let it rock. I put my development patches back together. My box is done. Let me show you what it looks like now that it's done, I guess. This is how it came out. Also, that stuff never came off my hands. So whoopsie, but I think it looks pretty good. So I'll check back in tomorrow to show you how it looks. This is where we're at right now in the process. So far so good, I think. It looks cool. I think it came out kinda nice. I don't know if I like the other one better. Anyway, see you tomorrow. All right, so this is what it looks like 24 hours later-ish. I showered late last night and the purple stuff didn't come off until the shower and the whole thing faded a lot. I scrubbed it, some black ink came off with the soap. So it faded quite a bit, which it said it was gonna do, but this is it fully filled in. As you can see, it kind of, if it was a real tattoo, let me see if I can change the lighting. If it was a real tattoo, you would consider that to be blown out, like that part in the elbow ditch, but it's fake, so. The coloring looks pretty good compared to my real tattoo, but that, that's where we're at. It's three o'clock in the morning and I'm editing my video in my orange room and I realized that I did not film an outro. So thank you so much for watching. The tattoo ended up lasting about two weeks and it faded out almost identically to the other ink box. So if you haven't seen that video yet, check it out and it'll answer a lot of questions for you. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You made it all the way here. So let's be pals. I try to make new videos about art and other stuff frequently. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.